I'm making peanut butter and jelly stuffed cupcakes. It's like combining two of my favorites, and I'm pretty sure it's Brayla's favorite too. In my mixer, I've added three quarters cup of granulated sugar. I've just added one stick of room temp unsalted butter, and now I'm gonna add a half of a stick. And I'm just gonna beat this until it gets light and fluffy and airy. And this is the trick to getting light and fluffy cupcakes. You gotta have room temp butter. It's gonna create those, those pockets of air in that cupcake and just make it so fluffy and light and airy. All right, that is awesome. I'm gonna add two eggs, one at a time. These eggs are also room temp. All right, that looks great. So it's one and a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Give it a whisk. All right, and I didn't forget, but I did forget, my teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give it a go. All right, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna add in my flour and I have a quarter cup of milk in here. So I'm gonna alternate between the flour and the milk. And listen, this is great for adults too. Yeah, kids will love it, but if you're an adult like me, you're gonna love it too. <laughs> I'm gonna add this last bit of milk. All right, that's looking good. Scrape it down one more time. And you wanna make sure you don't over mix your batter. If you over mix your batter, you're gonna release all that gluten. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a tough cupcake and you don't want that. All right, good. I have a cupcake pan here lined with some parchment paper. So I'm using a ice cream scooper and I'm gonna just drop a dollop of that cupcake batter in the cupcake liner. All right, so that is, that looks great. I have my oven preheated to 350. I wanna bake these for about 16 to 18 minutes. While that bakes, I'm gonna get started on my peanut butter frosting. It's super simple. So I've got my stick and a half of room tip butter. I'm gonna add three quarters cup of peanut butter. When it comes to peanut butter and jelly, I really like the chunky peanut butter. I'm a chunky girl. <laughs> but when I'm making something like this, I gotta use smooth. You gotta have a smooth frosting. Now I'm beating this until I don't see any chunks of butter, and then I'll add in my sugar and vanilla. and a pinch of salt. And I like to add in milk as I go, depending on the consistency of the frosting. So I say about a tablespoon of whole milk should do the trick. There we go. Pipeable, fluffy, light, airy. That's how you want this frosting to look. So I have my cooled cupcakes there. I'm gonna show you an old school way of taking out the core from your cupcakes. You just take your knife, go down the center, rotate it, and it'll pop right out, and you eat it. <laughs> I have some grape jelly here that I've heated up just a little bit just to get it loose. Just drop a little dollop in there. Now, if you have a cake core like this, you take it, you press it down, and it should come right out. Almost done. Have a pastry tip here. I'm gonna insert in my zip top bag. And if you wanna get fancy, you can get a pastry bag, but this will do. Before I put the peanut butter in, I like to use a cup to help me kind of like stabilize the bag. And I'm just piping my peanut butter frosting on top. As if these aren't pretty enough, now, one more thing. 
what's cupcakes without sprinkles? So I'm just gonna take a little bit of these purple sprinkles. Look at that. 